talk quickly about um, the Twitter page uh, that was against pornography, anti-pornography, I think it's called. And they post up, whoever it is, they post up um, statements uh, about pornography. Uh, pornography is something that's become very popularized. Um, it's not so, is I think the word they use is taboo as it was before. Um, one thing society does now and is encouraged to do is indulge. Uh, one big thing that people indulge in is lasciviousness or lust. Um, indulging in perversion. Um, I've heard some speakers say, um, call it, refer to it as a European way of uh, sexualizing things, taking sex out from being something between husband and wife for the purpose of reproduction into making it something that's just gratifying, that just quote unquote gets you off. So it's no longer um, about the expression of uh, love between husband and wife and bearing children from it it's now something just to gratify you um, pornography is an indulgence in the perversion um, there are some people with a, a mindset of humans being animalistic and they think that that is that indulgence is um, they, they take it as being very natural they take it as being natural uh, to it's really not true that's actually not true about it. that's a theory um, uh, I wouldn't link it to the Darwin theory but to say that we're animalistic people by nature, we just want to, uh, I think this, the three are mate, feed, and kill. You know, we just want to eat, we just want to uh, engage in sexual, some type of sexual gratification, and then we want to just kill something and destroy something. I could say that's a lie. So many people embrace that, and I think that's a very dangerous thing to embrace. Because what's to stop you from saying, hey, this is me, this is who I am naturally. So then you just go out and do that stuff and then you got a, 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 you, the type of criminals we have and people who are just out there doing those three things. Um, it's a dangerous theory to accept. I think we're, I think we're more civilized than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one thing that I don't like is that there's a lot of money put into pornography a whole lot I don't know the exact statistics but if I remember correctly it's in the billions a year and in that industry um, I'm told that there's Jewish people who run the industry um, <laughs> uh, which is not really a surprise there's a lot of Jewish people who are uh, who own companies and you know they run a lot of things um Jewish particular Jewish people it's not all Jewish people I'm also to understand if I'm to understand correctly the actual Hebrew people are kind of not as integrated into the society as we think but anyway that's a whole other a whole other video um, the, there's so much money put into pornography a year, and I think it's sad that there's so much money put into pornography and into sports, and meanwhile, we've got so many people who are paid such low wages, so many people who are... I don't understand how people are upset about taxes 
they don't want to have to pay more taxes, higher taxes. They're upset about having to pay higher than what they paid before. But they're willing to put these billions of dollars into pornography, into sports. What? I mean, there are people starving out there. There are people that pay such low wages. There are people who are out there. Jobs needed. There, there's just there's just so much financial trouble in this country, and we're putting our money into whacking off and cheering for our favorite teams. I mean, huh? Uh, I don't. The media uses uh, sexuality. It exploits sex. If you look at, I ha I don't look at a whole lot of TV because it's it's a it's like a propaganda tool. It's like a it's it's there to just warp your mind and and just like control you. And it does such a good job. I, I'm to understand that's what it was pretty much created for, but. Um, the a lot of the popular shows out now, Walking Dead. Um, what's the other one? Game of Thrones. There's a new one now called the the net the Nick, I think. Um, the one that I am watching, uh, left the leftovers. Um, this is Justin Thoreau. He's cool. He should play the Punisher. I still think he should play the Punisher. I said that when I saw him years ago in that movie with Christian Bale. Um, I said that he should, just the way he looked in that film, he, I thought, well, he looks like he could be Frank Castle. Anyway, um, all these popular shows out now. There's another one. Uh, is Josh Hartnett is in it, and there's like vampires or something. I tried to watch that. You know, it within the first episode, it just gave me everything I knew it was going to have, and I just kind of fell off with the interest. I just didn't. I was just like, eh, I'm not really interested in this. This seemed kind of silly. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it might be Penny Dreadful. Uh, that might be the name of it. Um, all these new shows is, are, and I can't say all of them because I have I've I've not yet watched, um, Walking Dead. Everybody, so many people I hear talk about that. I'm, I'm, I've yet to actually sit down and watch an episode. I know of the show. If you showed me certain characters, I might be able to say, hey, yes, that is Walking Dead. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with it. Uh, I, I'm just a big bandwagon person. I don't, if I see like a lot of people doing something, it absolutely does not interest me in doing it whatsoever. So I just haven't checked it out yet. But I did see that so many um, of these new shows have graphic violence and gratuitous sex. That's like a given. I just happened to see a very graphic episode because people were talking about it so much. And I was like, oh, I wonder what the big deal is. And I watched it and there's some guy squash another guy's head or something like that and um it was just it was just very um uh pervasive a very pervasive type of gore by even though it's off screen everything the sound everything and they dress it up to make it neurologically affect you that's their point they want it to affect you they want it to bother you to disturb you to kind of get to you a little bit they do that on purpose and that's what they have the woman scream for, and, ah, and then the head's just there, and then the music, and then they have the, they kind of show it a little bit, and they have it gr gruesome and everything, and they do all that on purpose. It's a very, um, it's a very intentionally, neurologically manipulative, uh, um, process that they're doing. And they do that with TV, and they do that with movies, and they do that with games, and they do that with all these kind of things like this. So, um, one thing I've seen in these new shows is that they have the gratuitous uh, sexuality and gratuitous violence. And they're, they're essentially programming you with sex and violence.